the journals are journals are projects organized planner she well, hello, Planner Babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. I publish one to two recorded videos per week on planning, junk journaling, craft room organization, and related shopping hauls. I also post an additional live video most weeks. And I want to thank all my Patreon members who helped make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner sheet. Okay, planner babes, let's get started. I apologize for the placement of my hands in today's video. I'm kind of over to the right. I am still at my parents' house helping them move, pack to move in with us. And this room that I'm filming in has very dim lighting and I'm kind of trying to walk work around that. So thank you so much for your patience. But this video again is about easy um, junk journal pages to create. So this might look a little elaborate, but let me tell you how easy it was. So if you have old calendars, if you happen to be like my mom who kept calendars for forever, they make great pieces of art to use for all different types of planning and journaling and junk journaling. And even if you don't keep them and you shop at Goodwill or other thrift stores, you can find old calendars with real pretty stuff. I've used calendars that were flooded with beautiful florals and gardening images and all of that. Greeting cards, you can keep those. They have great pictures, sometimes wrapping paper, magazines, thank you cards, cards that you've received from people. You guys know I journal with those all the time. Well, this calendar, these the first few pages are from a specific calendar, and then I have another few pages from a different calendar, and then I've got a combination of calendar and greeting cards, stuff like that, and of course I added some other things to it. But these first few are from a calendar from 1990, you guys, that my mom had for All God's Children. So All God's Children, if not, if you're not familiar, are figurine, collectible figurines of African-American children. And they tend to look like they are set maybe in the 1940s, that kind of era. And so she made a I don't know if the lady who created those figurines creates a calendar every year but I know she had a calendar for 1990 because we found it in my mom's stuff and this is one of the pages I just tore out I tore the page right around here and just kept um, on the image the little girl and the back of her reflection in this mirror which I thought was adorable so I just used some permanent some when I tore it, I used some Dollar Tree permanent double-sided tape to put it in the center of this, which this is a Traveler's Notebook insert, by the way, that I'm using from December 2021 to March 2022. And so I picked it up. I did the first part of it in another video, which I will put the I card across the screen for you guys. And I picked it up here when I got to my parents' house. So here I just wanted to find a quote. So this was easy, right? I just tore out this part of a calendar, used permanent double-sided tape to put it uh, right here in the crease. What I did was I folded it first and then I pulled off the back of the double-sided tape uh, after I placed it right there in the fold of this and then I pulled off the other side after I got it centered you know in there really well I pulled off the backing of the double-sided tape on this other half and laid it down and then I just folded it some more to make sure it sat where I wanted it to and then I found a quote from Coco Chanel that says beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself which I thought was awesome right so that's another way to do easy junk journal pages use a calendar use you know scrap stuff use old greeting cards use all that kind of stuff that I mentioned earlier and then look up a quote that kind of goes with what you're feeling for this um, layout so I thought that was wonderful it's a really awesome quote and then this was one of the little pages you know always on calendars they tend to have on the back like a little thumbnail size image of some of the pictures or, that were used for the different months or maybe there's just little other pieces of core around the front and the back of the calendar and sometimes on the the pages inside as well and so I just took one of those the other half is on the other side which I'll show you in a moment but I folded it in half there's a girl on this side and a boy on that side and I just stapled it right there for a little tag so that's a super easy tag right all I did was cut out this thumbnail 
fold it in half and staple it on the side. So that's super easy. And then this is a sticker from Dollar Tree I shared in a live haul recently. I'll put the iCard for you guys up there as well. But I've got some um, different Valentine's Day stuff and different stuff for junk journaling in that haul, some of which is in today's video. So part of it was these lips and these letters also came from there. So this is a little tag. Now this was so fun and easy, you guys. So you know when you get stickers, they tend to have a little plastic casing um, to protect it. And there's also a piece of cardboard behind it that has this little loop here so that it can hang up in the store, which this was from Dollar Tree, you know, on that little metal thing that you pull the stuff off of. And so I just cut a piece of it out. And since this part behind it was red, I just cut another piece of it, uh, of that cardboard and that was white, you know, or turned it over so that end would be white. And I just used some Dollar Tree permanent double-sided tape to put this white piece on top of it. And then I used permanent do Dollar Tree permanent double-sided tape to adhere it to this page. And then this was ribbon that was from something I got in the mail. It was a package of, of stickers from a um, Etsy vendor. And they wrapped it up with this purple, I'm not purple, gosh, gold <laughs> ribbon. And I just tied it on here and cut off the excess. And it just makes a really awesome tag. I need to burn the end right here with the lighter, which is what I like to do. Um, so that won't ravel right there. And then I just put U. So with the letters from Dollar Tree, I put Y-O-U. You are beautiful. Now, I they only had two U's. So there was U here and a U here, even though I have, they had like three T's in this pack of stickers from Dollar Tree. So I didn't have another U. So then I just used another set of stickers from Dollar Tree and put the U and the L up here. So you are beautiful. Yeah. And then this paint, this green paint on the background came from Dollar Tree as well. That was from that haul. And I don't know if you can see it very well, but I got some of the stuff spackling from Dollar Tree also. And it's really, really soft stuff. So when it dries, it's just just a little bit rough. Uh, I don't know if you can even see it in the video, but there's a little, I just put a little bit of it right here. It's just a little bit of whiting there and a little bit along here. So it wasn't very powerful for that, but I used it later in another part. And then part of that cardboard backing also I put on here and then I had put the wrong side so it had some red. So I had some leftover paper from this calendar that kind of matches that color. I put it on top and that took care of that spread, you guys. So that was so easy and fun. Now on this side, so there's the other side of the tag with the little boy that I stapled and then this is another boy from that calendar and he just adorable you guys look at that that look at that <laughs> and so I tore him out as well used Dollar Tree permanent double sided tape and adhered it and then I wrote a poem so this is the back of the calendar. Actually, some of that is sticky. I might add something to that later. So this is the back of the calendar page for the other image on the other side. And then I wrote this poem and it says, Rainy days are all I see. Times that make me groan and weep. Longing for the sun to rise. Crying out for big blue skies. I try to take it all in stride. Knowing that I cannot hide. Reflecting on the good times past when sunshiny rays did cast. So today sorrow will not peep and my true love for life will keep. God has me and so I'll smile for he's been with me all the while. Yeah, you guys. So that was just inspiration. So that's another easy way. Use an image from somewhere. And then you could be a sticker. Also, if you order stuff to junk journal as well, if you order printables, you put that and then write a little poem, just make something up. And so I just used some of my uh, brush pens. I don't remember which pen I used here uh, in a yellow color. And then I just wrote on it uh, the little poem. Yeah. And then this spread also, this image I tore out of the calendar, which I love it. It's so adorable. And then right here, because I kind of wanted to tie in some of the colors right here is just some washi tape from Dollar Tree. And then here I just drew a flower that kind of mimicked the flower that she did here. And I love how she's got paint on the little puppy. And then the background paint came from Dollar Tree also from that haul I was telling you guys about. And then I just wrote a simple statement. I'm an artist. Can't you see? 
Yes, and I just thought about that because sometimes, well, not a lot of the times, we're very critical of our art when we're artists. We just can give ourselves a hard time because we want everything to be perfect, and then we kind of sometimes are not sure how others think about it, even though we really shouldn't be as concerned about that, and that just made me think about that. I'm an artist. Can't you see what matters is she is proud of her art, okay? And then... Here, this image is from a totally different calendar that my dad had. So my dad loves nature and I do as well. And I absolutely love owls. Oh my goodness. So these are so beautiful and I didn't get the fold in here quite right. So I cut it in there so that um, it was going to wind up probably ripping anyway. But I love the watercolor. I just, this art right here is gorgeous to me and like I said I think owls are amazing animals amazing birds and so here I wrote a quote from one of my favorite movies it's called tell me if you've ever seen this movie tell me in the comments below if not please watch it and tell me what you think but it's called legend of the guardians the owls of Gaul I love that movie and so it says, but such things have no effect on me, for I am a poet as much as a warrior. And that was by Twilight, uh, one of the owls in the movies. And then another one here says, a wise old, no, sorry, a wise old owl sat, I can't even see, it's so dark in here, y'all. A wise old owl sat in an ark. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we be like that wise old bird by Edward Hershey um, Richards? Yeah, so I thought that was really good. And then now here, let me tell you about on the left side. So here I took that spackling. Oh, let's close you. I just folded that. Yeah. So here it said I used some of that spackling and I put a lot of it down first and let it dry and it has wonderful texture. So if you were watching my live stream I was talking about earlier where I did the, the haul at Dollar Tree, someone commented that they wanted to see how I was going to use that. I don't know if it was that or the caulk. I'm going to use the caulk in another video. But the spackling, it really kind of works like um, gesso. So, um, of course, it's not as thick. And I'm not sure if you were to try to have something it sort of used as glue as well. I don't know if it would have worked because it's kind of... It's kind of weird, but <laughs> it's not a thick spackling. But um, but it dries really nice, um, and I wanted to see if I could write on it right here, but it, it wouldn't work. It just kind of sunk into it. And so then I used some Mod Podge and just took another scrap of paper from this particular calendar, and I wrote on it the title of a poem by Shalom Friedman that says, Ode to Be Young Again because there's these little young birds right and they're sitting in their nest and I think they're beautiful yeah and I put some more spackling around here and I used a yellow brush pen and colored some yellow to add that color in there also yeah and then here so you guys these are easy but fun right and then here is from um, the same calendar with the children and this was just another piece of one of the spreads and I just tore out the plant in the little table and then this was from a greeting card my mom had with these beautiful birds and it had it where it folded over the lid folded over and um and then I just tucked in another plant from this calendar inside there and then I used some of the green Dollar Tree um paint and I used some permanent double-sided tape to adhere everything and then here I wrote plants and birds are two of the things I love with Dollar Tree stickers and then for the tag this comes from the back of this because uh, it was you know it was a card so the other half of the card on the back had this and I just cut it out and rounded the corners and stapled it for a tag and that was it yeah and I can tuck more plant images in here also I can tuck some bird images in there so I just left the opening of the card open right and yeah and that is it you guys I want to let you guys know that I am on Instagram at Organized Planner Chic, where I post all of my creative ventures and adventures. I also have two Facebook groups. The one for anyone around the world is called Organized Planner Chic Crew, and the local one is called Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot and it tells the YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos. You guys, please take care of your body, mind, and spirit because when one suffers, they all suffer. You guys, please continue to pray for me, and I will continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.